Winter 2016 may very well be the best season the PlayStation 4 has ever seen in terms of game lineup. In this video, we will be showcasing 10 must-play PS4 titles of Winter 2016. Number 10, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Being developed by Media Vision, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth was released in Japan back in March of this year. The Japanese release was only on the PlayStation Vita, now Namco Bandai looks to be bringing the game on the PS Vita and the PlayStation 4 in North America. If you are looking for a semblance of Pokemon on your PlayStation 4, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth is the closest you're gonna get. Many would consider it even better than Pokemon just due to the mature nature that the game offers. Yes, it's a Digimon game. Yes, kids can definitely play it, but there are some more mature themes to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth than you would see in a typical Pokemon game. You play as either a male or a female Japanese amateur hacker. Eventually, the player ends up becoming half digitized and then they can freely travel between the real world and the virtual world. Keep in mind that the game was originally developed ground up for the PlayStation Vita, so don't be expecting high-end PS4 graphical fidelity, but the visuals are definitely fine and the game has has a really cool watercolor art style. Hopefully Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth can be a great monster collecting franchise. You'll be able to get your hands on Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth on February 2nd, 2016. Number 9 is Alien Nation being developed by Housemark. Housemark has become one of gaming's most underrated development studios in the world. They are known for creating high quality arcade games like Super Stardust HD, Dead Nation, and Resogun on the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4. Housemark has also gained some fame with the fact that they're working on 2016's Matterfall on the PlayStation 4. But their next title is an arcade title as well called Alien Nation. This is a top-down, very stylistic shooter. It harkens back to Dead Nation a bit and the game looks fantastic. The game just looks like a crazy mosh pit of shooting, fighting, against hordes of aliens. The game looks great and while we don't know too much about it, we do know that it's gonna get an early 2016 release. We are probably gonna find out more at PlayStation Experience in December. But if you haven't, definitely check out Housemark's other games like Super Stardust HD, Resogun is fantastic and that's a PlayStation 4 game, Dead Nation Apocalypse Edition is on the PlayStation 4, they've created a lot of quality games and they don't get enough recognition like they deserve. Hopefully that changes with the release of Alien Nation in winter 2016. Number 8 is a game that's been shrouded in controversy and originally funded via Kickstarter, it's Mighty Number no. 9 developed by Comcept. Mighty Number no. 9 is being produced by Keiji Inafune who is famous for his work on the Mega Man titles. If you look at Mighty Number no. 9, it's an obvious recreation of the Mega Man game series which is great because Capcom hasn't done much with the Mega Man license for many years now. With the cancelling of a game like Mega Man Legends 3 and just no new Mega Man titles being created, many were excited for Mighty Number no. 9 because it could have been a recreation to the Blue Bomber, and obviously it was considered a spiritual successor. Unfortunately, Keiji and Afune and Comcept asked for more money, and then the game got delayed. It was originally going to come out in 2015, then it got delayed to late 2015, and now it's coming out in 2016. Many gamers have been off-put by Mighty Number no. 9, the constant pleading for donations and the delays, but still, Mighty Number no. 9 does have a lot of potential. If the game does deliver, it can still be that recreation of Mega Man that a lot of gamers are looking for. So if you're a fan of Mega Man, still check this game out. You want to support a game like this because Capcom still probably isn't going to do anything with the Mega Man series. It is pretty messed up what happened, constantly asking for donations, delaying the game. It's not right, but Mighty Number no. 9 still has potential to be a very good game. And hopefully it is a great Mega Man style side-scroller when it releases on February 9th, 2016. Number 7 is Tom Clancy's The Division, developed by Ubisoft. The Division has been in development for a very long time, ever since 2013 this game was originally announced at E3 of 2013 during Ubisoft's press conference. The game has been delayed numerous times. It was originally expected to release late 2014, then it got delayed to 2015, and now it's finally releasing in March of 2016. This game had an immense amount of hype when it was originally announced, but some of that hype has died off now with the delays, and there has been a clear graphical downgrade with the game. The game doesn't look as good as it did when it was originally announced. Chances are the graphics were lowered, so the game could run at a stable frame rate on the consoles. Still, Tom Clancy The Division looks like one of the standout multiplayer games of 2016. The game still has a lot of potential, but I could understand people's skepticism with all the delays. Tom Clancy's The Division is an open-world third-person shooter with RPG and survival elements. The game takes place in a mid-crisis New York, and you have to team up with players to survive and fight against other players. Hopefully, The Division lives up to the initial hype when it releases on March 8th, 2016. Number 6, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. The Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm series originally began in 2008 with the release of the first title on the PlayStation 3. Many were blown away by the gorgeous visuals that game had to offer and the fabulous recreation of the Naruto anime in video game format. Now with Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, CyberConnect 2 looks to close the book on the Ultimate Ninja Storm series. This game is going to cover the final arcs of the Naruto storyline, making it the last installment of the series. The game also is going to have the most robust roster
roster of any game in the series with over 100 characters. And this time around with Storm 4, the game is going to take the story mode back into what we loved and you get to explore the Leaf Village. And Cyber Connect 2 looks to make it a faithful recreation of the final arcs of Naruto. Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 was originally scheduled for a late 2015 release, but the game ended up being delayed because the developers wanted to make the game more authentic and up to date. Now the game releases on February 9th, 2016 and we can't wait for it. Number 5, Far Cry Primal being developed by Ubisoft Montreal. While Far Cry Primal is a Far Cry game, it isn't a Far Cry game in the mainline series. Far Cry Primal is its own standalone entry to the series, and while it has a lot of elements of Far Cry games, they are doing something very different with it. The game is set in the Stone Age and revolves around the story of Takar, who starts off as an unarmed hunter and rises to become the leader of his own tribe. The game takes place in 10,000 BC. Cubans have just discovered fire and began to use stones to create tools for their daily life. Survival is a challenge as tribes come into conflict with one another and nature. Far Cry Primal is once again an open world game filled with wildlife such as mammoths, direwolves, bears, and saber-toothed cats. Obviously, the game is in the prehistoric era, so the traditional Far Cry gunplay and vehicle gameplay will not be present in this game. Players can only get access to melee weapons like spears, clubs, axes, and short-range weapons like bows. And you can't purchase your weapons, you have to craft them using materials scavenged around the world. Not only will you have to fight against the wildlife, but as the leader of a tribe, you also have to fight against other tribes, and you have to protect the people that are in your tribe. Far Cry Primal, while it is a game that's different from your traditional Far Cry game is a game that has a lot of potential, and it is good to see that the Far Cry series is stepping out of the norm. The game releases on February 23rd, 2016. Number 4 is the latest entry to a very long running fighting game series by Dimps and Capcom Street Fighter V. Street Fighter V is obviously the fifth mainline entry to the Street Fighter series, but obviously there's been so many more games with games like Super Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, it goes on and on and on. But this is actually a new mainline entry to the series. The gameplay is going to be similar to a lot of the previous Street Fighter game, your traditional side-scrolling fighting gameplay, and the game will feature 16 characters at launch. Following the game's launch, several characters will be developed and added to the game via regular updates. These characters are going to be able to be purchased via two ways. You can either use real-world money, or you can use in-game money called fight money. And it's expected that six additional characters are going to be released in 2016 after the game's launch. Street Fighter V will be releasing exclusively on the PlayStation 4 and PC. While Street Fighter V is a console exclusive, it is also releasing on PC, and the game is actually going to feature crossplay between the two platforms. So if you're on PS4 and you want to play with someone on PC, you can. And if you're on PC and you want to play with someone on PS4, you can do that as well. Street Fighter V is running on the Unreal Engine 4 and is expected to release on February 16th, 2016. Number 3 is the brand new Hitman game being developed by IO Interactive and published by Square Enix. The game is just titled Hitman and will act as a reboot to the series. Once again, you will play as Agent 47 and the level design in the new Hitman game is going to be similar to that of Hitman Blood Money, opposed to the linear structure of Hitman Absolution. Every level in Hitman is a small sandbox that can be explored by the players. Levels are also larger in Hitman. The maps in Hitman are going to be 6-7 to seven times larger than the biggest levels in Hitman Absolution. And the levels in Hitman support up to 300 NPCs, each having different routines and will react differently with the player's actions. Contracts mode is going to return and Instinct mode also returns, but it's going to be more simplified. Hopefully Hitman can deliver a fantastic action-adventure stealth game when it releases on March 11, 2016. Number 2 is the latest entry into the Cyber Punk action RPG series Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Deus Ex Mankind Divided is being developed by Eidos Montreal and published by Square Enix as well. Mankind Divided is set two years after Deus Ex Human Revolution and you once again play as Adam Jensen. This time around he's got new technology and new body augmentations to work with. As the title suggests in Deus Ex Mankind Divided, Mankind is well divided. People are now more against augmentations than ever before but this has also created terrorist groups that demand equality for those with augmentations. Adam Jensen attempts to unite humankind again and he also has to deal with conspiracies regarding the story of the game. Deus Ex Mankind Divided looks to be one of the best RPGs of 2016, and once again we hope the game delivers in the story and the gameplay department when it releases on February 23rd, 2016. And finally, number one releasing at the tail end of winter, it's Uncharted 4 A Thief's End, being developed by Naughty Dog. The game is set three years after the events of Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. Nathan Drake is now retired as a fortune hunter and has settled into a normal life with his wife, Elena Fisher. But obviously that isn't going to last as his older brother Sam Sam, long believed dead, suddenly appears seeking Drake's help. Together they embark on a global journey in pursuit of a conspiracy behind a long lost pirate colony and its fabled pirate treasure. Naughty Dog has said that the game's plot is Nathan Drake's greatest adventure yet and will test his physical limits, his resolve, and ultimately what he's willing to sacrifice to save the ones he loves. We already know what Naughty Dog is capable of. We already know that Uncharted 4 is going to be amazing, it's just a question of how amazing will the game really be. Naughty Dog is a development studio that works the best under pressure, and the pressure has never been higher for 
Naughty Dog. They're releasing the marquee title of the PlayStation 4 so far, and at the same time, they're concluding one of the most beloved franchises in PlayStation history. So you can expect this game to be epic on grand proportions. And don't forget, we've just talked about the single player. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End will also have a multiplayer component. And while the single player is what the majority of players play in the Uncharted games, expect the multiplayer to also be very robust and be a worthwhile inclusion as well. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End is almost here with the scheduled release of March 18th, 2016. So thank you for watching our top 10 countdown of the top 10 PS4 games of winter 2016. Do you agree with our list? Do you disagree? Did we rank a game too low? Rank a game too high? Completely leave a game off the list? Let us know in the comment section down below and leave your requests for future top 10s in the comments as well. Thank you for watching and goodbye.